Alright guys, so the running sets. Um, bear with me, I'm a little under the weather here, but I'm really excited about the guide and I want to keep rushing, uh, not rushing, but going through it with you guys. So, um, the running sets. We need to go ahead and flip sides. Um, but the running sets in this uh, guide, what we're going to do is, um, it's pretty unique, I think. I haven't seen, I haven't really seen many people do this, but... Um, I really like it. Um, if you're in mutt, you can still run the running sets. Um, you won't have as much passing, but you can still run it. Um, but first formation. Let me see here if I can find uh, just a basic. So everyone's running four three odds. We'll just use this. So anyway, um, single back, and we come out in the bunch ace. Now what we want to do here? I like to take Witten here and put him here. Um, in the first in this first spot right here, Jason Winton goes here, and then Gavin Escobar goes here, and then over here you could put anybody here. I like to put James Handa there, so I have three tight ends, and then I have Daz. You want to come out and play quick pitch if you're offline. If you're able to set your audibles, then you want to come out in FL Drive. Um, but since we're able to set our audibles, we're going to come out in. Uh, in FL Drive. This PA Fork shot play is also in your Ottawa's for the offline guys, which is very similar to it's a pretty good play too. But anyway, we'll go over FL Drive. But first you're running, so um you have this quick pitch. And so if they're stacking kind of inside on you, you can hit this quick pitch. Remember to make sure Chris and Michael's the guy you're gonna be running the ball with out of this for Dallas. He's the best runner out of the three or four guys. Um, your run out of well down is halfback slash. And um, what you see is don't be afraid to double juke like in the backfield. It, you normally actually do a pretty good job. And then also you can play make your pitch but what we're doing now is we're um, whoops sorry. When we play maker the run um, one of the things that we do is when we play maker the pitch to the left side and we actually want to run it, we're going to snap it when Jason Witten comes right over the A gap, so right here. He's going to get a nice little kick out, and then uh, we're, that really wasn't a good look to run it. But like most 4 3 unders, they'll come out and they'll shift their line like this. Um, and then this is like a, a situation we may want to run this. So we bring Jason Witten around like this, get that blocker out there. Now we have a numbers advantage. And uh, we get to the edge with Christian Michael. So that's the single mic bunch running. The cool part about this is that we can audible at two clicks to the right, and we're in the gun ace twins, and we can run that inside zone. And basically, what you want to do with the inside zone is you just want to read it. If you can bounce it outside, don't be afraid to do that. Um, it's actually really it. You can get some home runs when you bounce it outside. The other thing. The other thing is that you can obviously bounce, you can obviously run it inside like this. Um, so like that. Now one other pro tip here. I do want to show you this. So like if you're in mutt, when you come out in the inside, when you come out in the, if you're you're going to be coming out in the uh, pitch. I don't just think it's important to show you this because this is kind of cool. I don't know if they fix this or not, but come out the quick pitch, and then we'll just go random on D. And then what you want to do is you want to play make or the run to the left, which you'll be doing a lot of anyway. And then you want to audible two clicks to the right to the inside zone. Now what should happen, I think, is Christian Michael should run it to the other side from the other side. And here you see he's going to switch sides, and he's going to now run it from the left to right. It's kind of a unique little play. So like if they're you know if they're um, if they're stacking the the run against you. Just audible, do that little playmaker, and then you audible into Christian Michael. And then what you can do is bring Hannah across and now have a numbers advantage on this side of the field. With, you know, they're not going to be expecting you to run to the left side because you're stacked to the left. So, or to the right side because you're stacked to the left. So, like I said, you just playmaker your quick pitch to the left side, and then you audible into the ace twins inside zone. It's going to flip the guy. And, um,. And you see that it's going to be a nice little tactic you can use. So there's that as well. Um, and then also you have, um, let me see here, single back. 
Uh, single back ace zone weak. Well, this is ace twins. But um, I don't really run out of ace twins much. What I do, the only other play formation I really want run out of much is the um, single back big. And I use the ATL zone weak. And so I just kind of read, you know. It's, it's really good because it gives you those interior double teams. So that's really all we do with that. But, um, but those are all the real main runs. Um, like I said, you really aren't going to need much more than the, uh, the, um, the single back bunch ace in combination with the ace twins. I think that they're probably the two, two of the better running formations in the game, especially when you can do this little pro tip where you can run him to the left side and right side. Um, again, you don't always want to run him to the right. Sometimes you don't. If you don't want to run him to the right, then just don't do the playmaker. What you're going to see here is he's now going to run to the left like normal. And um, and you can get some good yards there. So, so anyways, guys, that's how we do the run stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple um, from here. Just uh, the quick pitch is really good, guys. Don't underestimate it. I do a lot of chess match with this with this system. And so, like, sometimes, like, I'll go, you know, inside zone. And then I'll uh, playmaker to the left side. And then motion went over and, and, and do that. Um, the other thing I'll do from time to time Every now and then, if I have a really good look for the pitch to the left side or to the right, I'll playmaker the pitch to the right. Motion went across to the left, and then uh, just snap it like that, and know that he's going to go up and kind of get the safety that second level. Um, but this is what it's going to do: is it'll throw them off because they'll be expecting you to run to the left, but now you're going to run back to the right, and um, you know. So it's it's just a chess match, honestly. Um, a couple of other things I'll do is like with the Ace Twins. Um, I don't do this as much anymore because I mainly run this run outside. But you know what I'll do is I'll bring Hannah in and snap him in the A gap if I really want to get a yard. That's normally what I do. Um, real quick, if they run commit, so you you'll eventually what they'll start doing is I'll just run commit straight down. What you want to do. And the event that they run a run commit is just bounce it left, bounce it left, bounce it left, bounce it left. And what you're going to see here is um, it's going to cream the run commit, as you see. Now, I won't um, obviously this won't work 100% of the time because they are run committing and they're trying to stop the run. Like you know, if there's something like this, maybe I'm just trying to show you some examples. But like, see, this is a situation where I'd playmaker the run to the left. We'll go back. And we're going to run it to the left side. And so here we're going to bring Hannah across. They're going to run commit straight down. And I'm just going to try to bounce it out. Um, as, but as you see there, it doesn't quite work for me. So, but it is, it's the best we can do um, against the run commit. I mean, obviously they're run committing, so they're going to have an advantage against the run. Um, it kind of is expected. But again, normally if you bounce it left, you can normally actually turn these into like home run hitting runs. Um, they're kind of hit or miss, but for the most part, um, you, you don't want to try If they run commit, guys, trust me, you do not want to run it up the middle. But if they run commit, you want to try to bounce it wide. Um, most defenses are going to have a hard time in it with stopping this run um, without run committing. And so when they run commit, it's you know, you're going to have to at least have a tactic. And so it's like in this situation when they have this, you know, and they're going to try to run commit down to stop the inside zone. We just bounce it to the outside, and we hopefully get that block from Des Bryant. Normally we get a little little chip, and then we're off to the races. So so that's really what we do with this this run. Uh, like I said, it's, it's probably my favorite run. Now what sometimes they'll do is they'll spread everybody out and then run commit, something like this. But it's a, still the same concept, and so you're trying to just kind of swoop around. That's really all you're trying to get. So, but that you know, sometimes you'll get c c stuff for the backfield, but most of the time you'll get some pretty pretty decent gains. So, so that's what we like to do. Um, we'll just and, and like I said, the pistol twins. Oh, I do want to show that. So we have the uh, strong power in here now. This is only if you can set your audibles, but the strong power is a good run because it's a nice off tackle to the right. Um, and so it's just a just a little sprint sprint run, but it's not as good as it used to be. So don't expect to really, you know, you may mix this in. This may go once or twice, um, but nothing too special here. Um, but it's just a little outside run. But again, it doesn't work very well. So don't we use it 
if it's like a wide open look, you know, like if it's like a, if it's like something we just want to, you know, we know we can get to the edge, it's probably something we'll call. But for the most part, what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna run, work the single back ace, the single back bunch ace, and the um, and the uh, ace twins offset. But as you can see, it does have some effectiveness to it. So that is the that's the running stuff. But the main, like you see here, the quick pitch is probably um, one of our main play calls. And and so. Um, real quick, one pro tip on running. When you hit, like, when you get one, like, if I break a tackle when I hit a stiff arm, that's the, then that's it. Like, I can only break one tackle per move. So, so like, if I juke you, I can't juke again. I've lost my ability to juke. I need to try something else. Um, and so what I mean by that is, you know, if you, like, with, with, with Christian Michael, he's kind of like a trucking style runner. He can do a lot, really. Um, but he's kind of a trucking style runner. But what we're going to do here is when we break a tackle with him, then immediately we change to a different playmaker. So, like if we double juke, then we don't want to double juke again. We want to stiff arm or we want to truck. If we stiff arm, we want to truck kind of thing. So here we're going to try. And, and I, I can't really get a great example. It's going to be hard for me to get a great example. But I just I hope you know what I'm saying. If you don't, we maybe can ask some questions and maybe I'll be able to answer it. But basically, if he breaks one tackle, like if you hit, if you use the stiff arm move um, and break a tackle, then you he's not going to break another tackle if you use the stiff arm move. You're going to have to use like a trucking move or a juking move or something like that. So just kind of know that you're going to have to have a whole arsenal of, of uh, moves here. So so here, yeah, I was hoping to get to show you, but yeah. Um, there's not too much else to say. I, I love the double juke in the backfield, though. With the inside zone, I, uh, the inside slash from the bunch, I really love the double juke in the backfield. That's the cool part about this is it's going to allow you, you know, some time some time to uh, make some moves um, with the inside hands off, handoff. Um, the other thing is don't be afraid to, bu um, don't be afraid to uh, cut this back side. Um, so the cool part is... You see how he doesn't get as much when he does that little stutter. That's not what we're looking for. What we want to do here is it's a run. We want to get going, and then we want to make some plays. See there? Um, that was kind of an example. So I juked in the backfield, and then when I broke the tackle, then I trucked. And I was able to break two tackles instead of one. But here, there you see it, and that's what we're looking for. So it's just a little cut back. But, you know, you only want to do it when, they're lo when the read is there. Here the defensive end's widen out. So then what we're going to want to do is try to get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety over here. Um, and that's kind of that. The other thing I'm finding is that when you hit truck, or when you get hit in the pile, so if you're in a pile of defenders, what you want to do is uh, you want to uh, continually hit truck. So you want to be like you want to be like this. So here's my here's what my controller would sound like. You want to continually tap it. Um, it's important. Um, so here's an example. What we're gonna try to do is cut it back with M Michael. See how he gets kind of lost. See that defensive end gets kind of lost there in the hole. Um, so you can try that if you want to. Um, but yeah, there's just so many things you can do with running the ball, guys. Don't sleep on it. It's really, really effective. And so, you know, a lot of my offense, you know, really I can spend a lot of time in this set here. Um, and then I want to show you the other runs in this video specifically. Um, and then we'll go through the passing in, an, in a separate video. Um, we'll go through a, a specific passing for each of these sets here, but I want to show that I want to try to show you this uh, hot route move. I don't think I'm going to be able to. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. But yeah, guys, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I really like, really like this, really like this set uh, to run the ball out of. But there you see, I double juke and then I stiff arm and I was able to break two tackles instead of one. Um, so just stuff like that. Here, let me show you this. So the slash, bring it back across the grain. So that's just something I've been working on recently. Um, one other thing you can do is stop completely. Do the L2 back juke. And it's kind of, it's all right. It's not as good as it used to be. But basically, L2 back juke can kind of shift your, shift your whole weight back. Um, that's something else you can do. just want to give you as many options here. But here, that's that's what we're looking to get there. And there's you see that cutback lane. 
Um, but again, oh, and then one other thing: don't hold turbo until you're through the line of scrimmage. Is what if you hold turbo, it's they're gonna uh, disengage from their blocks as soon as you start holding it. So like on the quick pitch, you want to not hold turbo, not hold turbo, not hold turbo. Now hold turbo, and and then you got that back juke, and now you see us off to the races. And so that's a good way to close it out. But um, that's kind of how we like to do it. So so that's the running stuff um, from this specific formation. Now I want to show you one other uh, formation we like to run out of, and that is the I four or the um, the strong eye twins. What we like to do is we like to put um, Klutz in at fullback. He's our best run blocker. We if you are playing mutt, you won't have your audible set up, so you want to come out in the halfback toss. If you are playing mutt, if you are playing online, then you are going to have your audible set up, so you can come out in any really. Uh, then we can come out in the I form twins. Um, but anyway, we come out in a strong, and so the let's I imagine we're playing mutt. So halfback toss. Just want to show you these plays here. So basically, it's just a read if they're playing the outside. So here, um, this is probably a pretty good look to run it. So what we'll do is we'll motion with no cross, snap him right here, and then it's just a halfback toss, and we're just trying to get outside. So that's the strong, and that's just the strong twins. And then your run audible downs the halfback dive. This is a really, really effective run for short yardage situations. Um, it's not as effective as a fullback slam or the fullback dive, but it is fairly effective. Um, I think it's pretty good. But anyway, so we got that, and then um, we have the counter. And the counter is just again, it's just kind of the same idea. If, if it's just a three-headed rushing attack, to be honest, is all we're doing there. And then, um, but the thing I want to show you is if you go to the uh, strong or the I form twins, you have the halfback toss. Now, this halfback toss is really, really effective, and it's really good for goal line situations. But just motion went across, and you're going to get some pretty good blocking, of course, as we get raped in the backfield. But it's just uh, it's just one little baby motion over, and then um, if you're if you're not playing mutt, you could set your audibles so you can actually have some pretty good, pretty good run audibles there. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Um, that's really not anything I do a whole lot of. Like I said, I normally stay in that single back ace kind of stuff. For me, um, this stuff is just it's not as effective. Um, but then I do use the iPhone twin tight end, and so what we want to do now is we like to take um, I like to take Joseph Randall put him in the, or excuse me, I like to put um, Christian Michael at fullback here, and then I put Dunbar in the backfield. On the line of scrimmage, I'll put um, Escobar here. Sometimes I'll put an extra tackle in, but for right now I'll just put Witten in there. But anyway, you want to come out in the fullback dive. And uh, what we do is um, we're going to play some motion mind games. So oftentimes we'll motion Dunbar outside. And then snap Christian Michael in the A. And as you see, he's going to do... It's a really good run. It's just fullback dive. Fullback dive has been around for all, all year long. It's a really, really effective run. And so you'll see it again here. Just show you a couple examples. And you're going to get that very consistently. It's very hard to stop. But um, anyway, we ha um, but what we'll do from there is we have some passing plays with Dunbar motioned out. Okay. Um, the next thing is to flip it and run it to the left side and then motion Dunbar to the right. And what you're going to see is here you're still going to do it, be able to do a decent job at getting some, some yardage with, um, with Christian Michael. But the other thing is we have another passing play where we have Dunbar motioned out like that. So um, sometimes you want to bounce this fullback slam outside. As you see there, it's not always a inside run specifically. You can bounce it outside as well. Um, and then also um, the next step. So when we want to run um, the zone weak, what I like to do with the zone weak is just playmaker it to the right. They're going to think you're playmaker in the fullback slam, but in actuality you're just playmaker in this little halfback zone weak. It's really actually pretty effective because you have two tight ends. So if you're able to set your quick audibles, you'll want to be able to um, go with that zone weak in that situation. As you can see, um, it just gets a. It, it, it's really good. It's kind of similar to that halfback steam of last season. Um, let me show you what happens if they run commit. 
So if we run that, if we run the zone weak, we playmaker to the right side. They're gonna run commit here. We're gonna be just you know bouncing it outside with Dunbar kind of thing. But you know for a yard or two, it's pretty solid. Um, here I'm trying to show you it again. But just zone weak, playmaker to the right, and then um, I like to spin it back inside and get a couple yards with it if they run commit. So you're still gonna be going forward. But anyway, there's that. Um, and then uh, the other thing that we like to do is if we bring Dunbar in, are we going to motion him out? And then we'll play some games where we sometimes bring him back up field. When we bring him back in, in here like this, we're going to audible to the halfback toss. They're not going to know that we audibled, and then we're just going to try to get outside. Um, oftentimes what they're going to be doing is they're going to run commit to the middle and uh, because they think you're going to be running fullback dive. So in key situations, never sleep on this if they give you a look for it. Um, and sometimes you want to run it even when they're not giving you a look. Um, and then also never, you know, and then of course, sometimes just run the fullback dive. So sometimes we'll just come back in and say, okay, let's run the fullback dive. Even though the run committing, we can still get three or four yards with it, um, as you can see. So there's all the, so that's pretty much how we do it. Um, not too very, not too complex of a running system here. Uh, just a lot of mind games with the motion, a lot of chess going, being played. Um, like I said, then sometimes we'll come back in, we'll, you know, maybe flip that halfback toss to the left if they give us a good look for to run it to the left. Don't be afraid to run it flipped. Um, sometimes I used to be afraid to run it without my tight ends, but, you know, it really isn't too shabby. Like I said, we'll bring him out, and then we'll come back in. And when he, when he sets, we're just going to audible really quick to the uh, halfback toss. And now we've got Christian Michael leading the way upfield. He'll be able to hold a block for a second. And there you can see it. So, so like in this situation where they're running goal line, we're just going to easily, it's just a quick quick audible to the halfback toss, and we're going to get upfield. So, so that's the running system. Um, not much more to say about it, honestly. Uh, that's pretty much what we like to do. Uh, like I said, not very much out of pistol. Shotgun normal. We can use this inside zone just to show it to you. But this is probably the more popular of the inside zones, but it's just, uh, it's probably most popular just because it's probably the best blocking-wise. But there you see we have it. So it's pretty good. Um, and you can access this run when you come out and you're split close. So that's nice. Uh, but that's kind of that. Like I said, I rarely use this one. Um, just because I don't... I'm I'm normally in the snugs. I mean, for the most part, I'm in the snugs. Um, but if I do want to run the ball, you can come out and you can run it. Shotgun normal. Like I said, you see how they just get really good blocking. So, so that's the runs. Um, a lot of inside zones, a lot of shotguns. Um, but yeah, the main thing I really do is that single back bunch ace. That's probably the most depth I can give you. Um, oh, oh, real quick, I do want to mention the jumbo pair. So the jumbo pair, if you're playing mud, it's really effective. So you want to come out in the stretch play. Now what I like to do is put a uh, d offensive tackle here. Um, so like we're gonna use just one of the just one of their tackles, and then your best tight end, you want him to be here. So that's Witten, and then we got Os Escobar as well. So get some really good tight ends in Dallas. Anyway, you want to come out in the stretch play. If you're in mud, if you're not in mud, then you can you can put it in your audibles, of course. But the stretch is just, like I said, it's just a power run. And what you're going to see here is you're just going to get really good. You're going to be a, it's, it's really going to seal the edge is what it's really going to do. Um, you're just going to get a nice clean edge. And then you can juke back, juke it up upfield if you want to. The cool part about the stretch is you can run it inside or outside. So if we want to run it inside, we'll just back, or um, we'll just double juke to the inside and cut it upfield. So um, that way we've got a little block shed there, but we'll show you here. Yeah, we're getting kind of some bad examples. The cool part is you're going to get a seal no matter what defense. I mean, there's goal line, and we're getting that same seal. So it's just kind of something unique. Um, not very many people run the jumbo pair. But as you see here, just, just simple. Simple running. Um, the run audible down, I think, is the halfback dive, if I remember right. So it's just an inside run. It, don't sleep on the halfback dive, guys. If they're giving you a look for the halfback dive, run the halfback dive. Just trust me, it's 
it's pretty good. Um, if you want to run it to the left, you can playmaker to the left. Now, you're not going to get the same blocking. Um, as you can see, we're going to get blown up most times. But sometimes they'll be so sold out for the run to the right that you at least need to show them that you have the ability to run it to the left and then just cut it straight up field. So that's what we like to do there. Um, the cool part about the jumbo pair is that Arizona also has a jumbo formation. So if you set your audibles up, if you're not playing, if you're playing regular, you can set your audibles up where you have, um, in the jumbo, you have the halfback toss. But what I can do is I can playmaker to the left, motion Escobar over, have a knife blocking set up now for the toss. Um, and there you see it. So, so we can do a lot of that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, the main, the main, like I said, the the main plays that, that I want to go over passing for is the I-form type pair, the bunch ace, and the ace twins offset, and then the single back ace, of course. But anyway, just wanted to show you this because I think it's just really important to pound the rock this year. Um, so I just wanted to show you kind of some of the running plays uh, that we use. I really like this jumbo pair, guys. Don't sleep on it. It's actually really, really effective. Um... So yeah, that's what I got for you. And then don't sleep on those inside zones either. Um, pretty much every run I showed you, they're going to have to commit to stopping. Um, so definitely check that out. But anyways, guys, that's the...